it is about a girl who dates death. So that's all that I need to hear, personally. <laughs> it seems like it's gonna have a lot of drama, so that sounds good to me. I just want the entire rest of the series right now. I'm hoping that I love cozy mysteries. I'm gonna feel really bad if I don't. <laughs> Hey, what's up? My name is Stevie and on this channel I like to chat all things fantasy romance and fantasy romance. Thank you so much for checking out my video today. Today I'm going to be doing my July TBR. So summer is in a full stinking swing in SoCal. It is so freaking warm, but I am very excited to be reading lots of summery books. Yes, there are tons of books I'm hoping to pick up this month. Lots of fantasy reads, romance reads, fantasy romance reads, and lots of other books as well. I'm also going to be participating in some buddy reads as well, so I'm very excited about that. One of the first buddy reads that I'm hoping to get to this month is going to be XOXO by Axie O. My library cover is not doing great justice on this camera but um, this is a super cute YA contemporary romance about a young girl who plays the cello and she meets this mysterious young man who she has an instant connection with and then he suddenly disappears then she moves to South Korea to go take care of I believe an ailing grandmother and discovers that the guy that she met is actually a k-pop star he's super duper famous so I don't always love the fame trope but I am really excited to pick this book up with Steph over on Stacy and Steph's channel so we will be budding reading that over on their new romantics book club discord definitely feel free to join because I think it's gonna be really cute I'm really excited about this one this month I am also very excited to pick up my first ever cozy mystery I have never read one but it seems like everyone that I talk to on booktube has read one and loves them so over on my discord which is the romantic cafe which is free to join please feel free to do so um, we are gonna be reading Live and Let Chai by Brie Baker which is gonna be a really cute seaside cafe kind of cozy mystery so it's gonna be very summery and there's also this really good iced tea recipe in the back of the book that I gotta try so we're gonna be reading that on the second week of July so definitely be sure to join hopefully you can have enough time to acquire your book and join the discord and read if you are interested I'm hoping that I love cozy mysteries I'm gonna feel really bad if I I don't. <laughs> a couple more contemporary romances that I am trying to pick up while I'm in this very summery contemporary mood. One of them is going to be Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. This is the sequel to um, Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez, which I read last month and I really did enjoy, but I noticed that I loved reading about the best friend character in that book. So I know that this book is going to be about the main character and part of your world's best friend. I don't know too much about this book, but I have heard great things, so I'm hoping to pick up that book. And then I'm also hoping to pick up The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren. This is the sequel to The Soulmate Equation, which is my personal favorite Christina Lauren book. I think it's one of the best. In The Soulmate Equation, we are basically looking at the relationship between this guy who has developed an app that can basically decide through your DNA who your perfect match is. And there's a really cute relationship in that book that happens. And then in this book, we are following another best friend of the main character in the previous books um basically go on what is effectively like a bachelor show but I think that it's kind of similar to the technology of like the DNA matching so I'm really excited about this one I love the gimmick of the app and the dating show honestly I could read like a million bachelor inspired romance books so I'm really excited about this one I think it'll be like the perfect contemporary romance book during the summer I'm very excited about this one I also feel like I have really been sleeping on my fantasy romance picks I don't think I read any technically fantasy fantasy romance books last month that I can recall so I do want to pick up a few of those this month um, the first one is going to be one of my fairy loot picks which is Divine Rivals this is more of like a historical fiction fantasy um, where basically we have two people who work for a newspaper I believe they are journalists during a divine god war I believe and basically this young girl here is writing letters to her brother who is at the war and she keeps kind of just like shoving them under her grandmother's door and they disappear so she hasn't really been questioning it only to discover that this rival that she has at the newspaper has been the one reading them so I think that it's going to be a very cute very sweet 
great romance story but also kind of has a fantastical element. I think there's a lot of like gods kind of involved in the story and there is a war happening so um, I don't know too too much but I am very excited to pick this one up. I've heard really good things and it's just very gorgeous so I hope that I ended up loving it. Another fantasy romance that I am very excited to pick up and that I am currently reading is This Vicious Grace by Emily Thede. And this is basically an Italian inspired um, fantasy story where basically we have this one girl who is destined to basically save the world during an apocalypse, but to do so she needs to basically marry someone that she can amplify their power in order to save the world. So basically we have some people who are able to amplify power and some that have the power but it's very very small so you basically have to match up with the right person but unfortunately for her whenever she touches anyone they literally die so she has already accidentally killed three of her partners that she has been getting married to and she is trying to find the right person in order to basically save the world so it's very dramatic and there's also kind of a bodyguard element to this book as well and i've been really enjoying it so far so yes i will definitely be getting to this one this month Another book that I am very excited to pick up is Belladonna by Adeline Grace and all that I really know about this book is that it is about a girl who dates death. So that's all that I need to hear personally. <laughs> that's all that I need. I'm very excited for this one and I know that the sequel is going to be coming out early next month so I want to get a head start on it so I can get really hyped for the new release as well. Okay and the last fantasy romance that I am really excited to pick up this month is Liar's Crown by Abigail Owen and this is basically about two twin sisters who um one of them has to take the crown but the other is basically just kind of treated as fodder. She's kind of the unnecessary little sister but at the last second before she's about to get married and get her coronation they end up switching places so um basically the girl who is going to become the queen is basically a liar she is lying to the crown so yes i know that's gonna contain a lot of lies and betrayal and secrets and i'm very excited for it it seems like it's gonna have a lot of drama so that sounds good to me Okay, and now I'm gonna get on to some of my fantasy books that I'm hoping to pick up. A lot of these are really chunky, but I've just been wanting to pick up these books so bad recently. So the first one is one that I'm really hoping that I can get to. I had it in my last TBR but didn't have the time for it, and that's gonna be The Will of the Many by James Eilington. Um, this is a brand new fantasy story that is very academic in nature and also very Grecian inspired, so I'm really excited for this one. I've heard that the magic system is amazing, but I've also heard that it's very slow and difficult to get into, so I will need to kind of put in a lot of time and effort in order to enjoy this one, but I'm hoping that I can get to it because it sounds like it's going to be amazing. Another series that I'm really hoping to start starts with the book Age of Myth by Michael J. Sullivan. I love Michael J. Sullivan's books and I ended up reading The Rayera Revelations at the beginning of the year. Really loved it and I've heard that this series is even better. It takes place in the same world but like thousands of years earlier so I really want to check it out. I've heard the characters are great and Michael J. Sullivan's characters are some of the best that I have ever read in fantasy or just fiction in general so I really do want to pick it up. I know that there is a lot in this fantasy story about basically how civilization has developed itself so like how they made weapons, how they made transportation and all kinds of the technologies that we know and love in a lot of medieval stories but it takes place before that so I'm very excited to see kind of of how this timeline is going to work with the rest of the Rayura books. I think it's going to be so good but again this is a six book series of chunky fantasy so we will see how much time that I devote to it this month. And the last fantasy book that I really want to start this month as well is Children of Fallen Gods by Carissa Broadbent. This is the second book, the sequel to Daughter of No Worlds, which I really loved the first book. It was so good. I loved the characters and it did have a very high stakes ending. But yeah, I did end up previously DNFing this book just because it was a little bit slow moving and it took its time to really get into things. So um, I do think Again, when I find the time, I will end up really, really loving this book, just like I loved the first one. So if I find myself really craving a slower paced book, I may turn to this one as well. Okay, and the last book that I'm really hoping to get to in the month of July is Volume 11 of Witch Hat Atelier by Komome Shirahama. I have been obsessed with this manga series. It is one of the most beautiful, coolest, just 
most exciting manga series that I have read in recent history. I think that it is honestly in the running to being one of my favorite manga series of all time. I just want the entire rest of the series right now, but I cannot have it, so I need to pace myself. But oh my gosh, if you love manga or you love fantasy, I highly recommend the Witch Hat Atelier series. It is some of the best work that I have seen all year long. I super duper love it. All right, so that is all the books that I'm hoping to read in the month of July this year. Definitely let me know which books you are excited to read or if you are interested in participating in any of our buddy reads. I also do want to mention that we will be having a Garber along coming up in the month of August where we will be reading all of Stephanie Garber's books including the Caraval and Once Upon a Broken Heart series. So definitely check out our discord down below if you are interested. But yeah, thank you so much for checking out my video today and definitely give this this video some love if you liked it and I will see you next time. Bye!